Good morning, everyone. This is Chris from Diecast Racing, bringing you another comparison video of one Mini GT and another Hot Wheels. The car that I'm showing today is the Bentley Continental GT3. A little bit about the car. Uh, the Bentley has a 4-liter twin-turbo uh, V8 Cosworth engine in it, and it produces 550 horsepower. Now, both these cars raced uh, in real life. They're actually replicas of real cars that existed. Um, the Mini GT is uh, from the 2019 total hours of Spa. And I couldn't really find too much information on this, just some pictures online, but uh, let's get into it. As you can see for their packaging, the Hot Wheels comes in a, what they call a card, with just a little plastic sleeve that holds the car in place. The Mi GT, at least in the United States, they come in a blister pack. The car is in a protective uh, plastic case, and it also comes with a box. Now the box, has uh, it also has a protective case on the inside so if you ever want to take your car out of the package you can do so and still protect it just fits in here if you want to store it it's a great way of protecting the car you just close the box up and it is protected if you want it to display it just take it out of the package, keep your box off to the side somewhere so you don't lose it. And you can actually look at it. It's a great way of being able to take it out, mess with it, play with it, while still being able to protect it and store it if you wanted to. I think that's just a great option that Mini GT has. The Hot Wheels, if you ever want to take it out to mess with it, it's out. That's it. You have to buy a separate little case to protect the car. Now, onto the Hot Wheels. I actually think Hot Wheels, this is not a premium, this is just a mainline car. I think they actually did a quite a good job at reproducing this vehicle, especially when you only pay a dollar for it. As you can see, there are a couple of decals on it. There's one on the side, one on the hood, one on the other side, there's one on the rear wing. They got a little Hot Wheels logo on them. But as far as decals go, that's it. Now this particular one, like I said, they actually did quite a good job of making this car. And it's quite amazing that they can produce this thing for only a dollar. That's right, you got another little Bentley logo up here. Just take a look at this car. As far as a one dollar car, this is actually Pretty nice car. I'm surprised with today's economy, the Hot Wheels can produce these things and still sell them for a dollar. At least there's still a dollar here in the United States. You see the paint job on it. It is a replica of the actual car in 2018. But since this is a toy, they have to create things on this to make it more durable for kids to play with. So according to scale, like this rear wing is not this thick. It is all made out of, plant, or, um, of metal, so it's durable. So if you wanted to give this to your kid to play with, run down a track or across the floor, this would definitely be more durable than the Mini GT. This is a toy that is also a pretty nice looking car to display. You can see on the interior there, there is a seat for the driver's side. And their driver's side on this is a right-hand drive. But it is quite plain on the inside, as you can see. There's not a lot of detail on the inside. You can see where the exhaust is. It's just part of the base. 
which is plastic on this particular car. Just mold it into that plastic. You can see the rear uh, wind diffuser or air diffuser down here at the bottom is also part of the main uh, plastic piece in the underbody of the car. The car, which I wish me G GT would start doing this, but they have you know the information on the bottom about the car because if you took it out of your package, you can still see what the car is. You can see you know when it was made. So I, I do like that on Hot Wheels. You can see the rear lights. There's no decals. There's no inserts. It's just painted. Same thing for the front lights. They're just part of the paint of the car. There's no decals or inserts. You can see in the hood here, it's all part of the metal body. But it's just painted. Now this particular Hot Wheel actually has side mirrors on them. There's little metal nubs that are part of the body that stick out. A lot of Hot Wheels don't have those. I do like how they added um, the mirrors onto this car. All in all, I think it's a fantastic looking car, especially for a dollar. If you go over to Mini GT, this is not a toy. This is a scale model. But as you can see right off the bat, there's far more detail on the Mini GT than there is on the Hot Wheel. All the decals are clean, easy to read, and they just look great. This particular car here, like I said, is the 100 year anniversary for Bentley. It raced in the 24 hours of Spa in 2019. Now this car itself was driven by Pipo Durrani, Luca Ordonez, and Andy Sochuk. They ended up winning, not winning, but uh, placing. They placed 29th in the race. It's too bad they didn't do a better job because I think it's a great looking car. The gold is, you know, the color for 100 year anniversary. You can see this thing has inserts for all the headlights. And it's quite amazing how the insert itself actually has detail inside of it. Let's show you what the lights actually look like. So the body, underbody of this car is all metal. Same with the top. Just all the little small details, I just think, add to this car. See, the radiator grill has actual detail on it. has the car's number on it. The underbody, or the, sorry, the exhaust on this car is actually part of the main body of the car. You can see there's fine details. Where it's supposed to be carbon fiber, they add this texture on it to give it more of a carbon fiber look. As you can see with the uh, Hot Wheels, it's not the case. Now this car is more correct for real life. So you can see the rear wing, see how thin it is. It's more scale correct. You can see all the little details all over the car. Now these wheels have rubber on them. This car does roll. You can see the rear headlights itself also has inserts. It's not a decal, actual inserts on the car. You can see also on the hood, there's actually detail down inside of there that shows more of the, uh, I think that's the radiator or one of the intercoolers. Now, if you'll be able to see it, but the interior of the car has more detail in it than the Hot Wheel does. It's kind of hard to show it, but there is more detail. See, the rear window also has, uh, looks like, some added detail on it. Which makes it just, I think it makes it look 
just awesome. The side mirrors on this, or more correct a scale, they are little rubber pieces. So you don't have to worry about snapping them off as easily as you would if they're made out of plastic. But this car is not a toy, like I said, it's a scale model. This isn't something you would necessarily give to your kid to roll across the floor or go down a track. This is more of something you would just display. Although, like I said, it does roll. It doesn't roll quite as good as the Hot Wheels does. The Hot Wheels actually rolls a little better, and it should, being a toy. You can see the uh, uh, air diffuser in the back here. It's part of the underbody, and it's all metal. Just all the little details just make this car look amazing. Now this car does cost more, whereas this Hot Wheel costs a dollar. This Mini GT, depending on where you buy it, will cost anywhere between 10 to $15 or so. Now Mini GT, I, I think all of their cars are like a limited run. Um, this one is one of 1,200. So there was only 1,200 of these ever made, which kind of adds to its uniqueness. Here's the difference between the cars. Now, if you want a car just to play with or to give to your kid, Hot Wheels is definitely the way to go. There aren't little pieces that could break off or fall off on it. Um, it's solid. It's a toy. It's meant to be played with. You can display it if you want to. Whereas this car here is mainly just for displaying, for looking at. And you can play with it a little bit, like I said, but it is something that isn't designed to be given to a kid. I believe the box says 14 years. Yeah, age is 14 plus. So it's a collector's model, not a toy. So if you guys are looking for something to play with, give to your kid, definitely the Hot Wheels is the way to go. If you're looking for something to display, the Mini GT is definitely the way to go. So here's both of these cars. Just want to showcase the differences and similarities between them. Both are great cars, but they both have different purposes. Depending on what your purpose is, that can help you decide which car to buy. Again, as always, guys, uh, please like and subscribe if you like these videos, if you want me to make more of them. Um, also, comment on the bottom of whether you like the video or if there's anything you would like to see improved. As always, um, good luck collecting and have fun.